Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. Where the thimbles? Looking for my shimmy shaker. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, hello, Thimbo. Oh, Rocket, have you seen my shimmy shaker anywhere? Oh, have you lost it again, Thimbo? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> it's around this time of day I like to sing and dance and play. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. And when I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. The shimmy shakes the dance for me. It makes me smile and feel happy. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. When I shimmy, shake, shake, shake. But then, oh no, where can it be? My shimmy shake is not here with me. And no more shimmy, shake, shake. No more shimmy, shake, shake. I'm looking high, I you know. I'm looking everywhere, I know. For my shimmy, shake, shake, shake. For my shimmy, shake, shake, shake. Cool. Have you looked everywhere, Thibbo? Yes, I have. <laughs> But it always seems to get away I seem to lose it every day I've lost my shimmy, shake, shake I've lost my shimmy, shake, shake <laughs> Thimbo, look, uh, what's that? Ooh, is it a strange purple and orange flower? Where? Uh, can you see it? Huh? <gasps> <laughs> it's my shimmy shaker. <laughs> uh, oh, oh! I'm getting the bimbling feeling. I'm going to find something. Hooray! I can feel a twinkling. I can hear a sound. It's telling me there's something waiting to be found. Where is it? Where is it? What could it be? I think it might be over there. Let's go and see. There is something to be found here. Is it here? No. <laughs> is it there? No. <laughs> uh, or can you see it anywhere? Um... Oh, look at this. Cool. What have you found, Fimbo? I don't know. Um, it's uh, something for putting on your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Fimbo. Hello, Rocket. Now, what have you got there? Bessie, look what I found. Um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> what a very strange glove. Are you sure it's meant to go on your hand? <laughs> I know, it goes on your foot. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, no, Rocket, I don't think it's meant to go on your foot either. I think it's an envelope. An envelope? Yes, you can put all sorts of things into an envelope and send them to somebody else. Here's something you can put in an envelope. Oh, I say, it looks like an invitation. What's an invitation? Well, if you want to ask your friends to come to a party, you can send them invitations. You invite them to come. I think he might be having a birthday party. A birthday party? Hey, I love parties. So do I. <laughs> Oh, 
on the invitation you tell your friends when the party's going to be and where it's going to be. Look, it's a clown invitation. He's putting it in the envelope. And now they're ready to send to his friends. And he can look forward to the party. Hoo -hoo -hoo, how exciting! Party time! <laughs> Tibbity tubbity party time! <laughs> Oh, that looks like fun. <sighs> I wish I could invite someone somewhere. Well, we can, Fimbo. We could invite everyone we know. You're right. Let's invite everyone to... um... to... <gasps> the Purple Meadow. Uh, Bessie, do you want to come? Oh, thank you, Fimbo. How kind. Uh, and Ribble, too? <laughs> I'm sure he'd love to. <laughs> Oh, I do like your pictures, Fimbo. <laughs> Look, here's the invitation. Now, we just have to get it to everyone else. <laughs> oh, I'd be good at that. <laughs> Yes, Rocket the Post Frog. <laughs> oh, a Rocket the Post Frog. Oh, a very special invitation to deliver. Oh, <clears throat> I shall deliver it straight away. I'm the Post Frog, and my name's Rocket. Fast delivery. Watch me hop it. Oh, time for a little rest. Oh, I mustn't stop for long. I've got something very important to deliver. Woohoo! I've dropped it. Oh, silly me. I'm the post frog. And my name's Rocket. A fast delivery. Watch me hop it. Hello. Look what I'm making. It's a picture of Little One. Hey! Hello, Flurry. Oh, hello, hey. Rocket. Ooh. Oh. Oh, what's that, Rocket? It's an invitation, Flurry. It's for you. Oh, oh thank you, Rocket. Oh. Oh. Here's an invitation for Flurry, our friend. We Put it in the envelope ready to send. Look inside, Flurry. Just look and you'll see. A special invitation delivered by me. <laughs> oh, an invitation for me? Oh, that's lovely, Rocket. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um... What's an invitation, Rocket? Oh, it means you're invited to the Purple Meadow by Fimbo and me. <laughs> Do you want to come? Oh, yes, please, Rocket. Oh, can I bring Little One? Of course you can. Now, uh, Rocket the Post Frog will deliver the invitation to someone else. <laughs> uh, could I have it back, please, Flurry? Oh, of course you can, Rocket. Oh, and I shall deliver it straight away. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the post frog, and my name's Rocket. Fast delivery, watch me hop it. Time for a little rest. I mustn't stop for long. I've got something very important to deliver. I don't believe it. I've dropped it again. <laughs> well, now, look at this. <laughs> Anyone missing an envelope? Oh, yes, Roly Mo. Me, me. <laughs> well, here it is. Oh, it's for you, Roly Mo. Special delivery by Rocket the Post Frog. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Rocket. <laughs>
Here's an invitation for Roly, our friend. We've put it in an envelope ready to send. Look inside, Roly, just look and you'll see your own invitation from Fimbo and me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Rocket. Where am I invited to? The Purple Meadow. Oh, of course. Are you inviting everyone? Oh, uh, now, let me think. Have I invited everybody? Well, uh, Fimbo knows, and uh, Bessie knows, and uh, Ribble, and I invited Flurry, and you, Rowley. Uh, ooh, uh, is that everyone? Um, smelly Jelly, I know who I haven't invited yet. Pom! I haven't invited Pom. Uh, I'd better go and find her straight away. You do that then, Rocket. Uh, uh, but Rocket, uh, won't you be needing this? Oh, of course, Rolly. Thank you. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> well, I'd better get a move on if I've been invited. <laughs> Ooh, perhaps I should tidy myself up a bit. <laughs> Ooh, I wonder if I could find that old hat of mine. Hmm. Uh, who goes Hello, Pom. Oh, hello, Rocket. Oh, look, look, look at Pom's leaf. Oh, that's super duper Pom. Uh, uh, why don't you put that one on there? Oh, no, 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 Rocket. That goes there. <laughs> right, Pom, I see. Oh, Pom, um, I've got something for you. Oh, something a Pom? That's right. Here it is. Ta-da! It's an invitation. Oh, hello, invitation. It's an invitation for you to come to the Purple Meadow. Oh, Pom, come to the Purple Meadow? That's right, Pom. Come to the Purple Meadow. Pom here. Eh? Oh, Pom here, the Purple Meadow. Um. Oh, that's right, Pom. You're already in the Purple Meadow <laughs> too. So that's everyone then. We've invited everyone. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, hello Flurry. Flurry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, how exciting! What's going to happen next? Oh, oh, oh. Hello, my ducky darlings! Oh, oh, oh. oh, what's all this then? I thought I heard voices. Oh, uh, hello, Bessie. Hello, uh, Rolly. Hello, Rolly. What a super hat you're wearing. Is it new? Oh, uh, well, thank you, Bessie. Uh, it's quite old, actually. Uh, I wear it on special occasions. Oh. Uh, well, I see you've all turned up then. Oh, yes. We're just waiting for Thimbo now. Oh, has uh, anyone seen him? No, Rolly, we haven't. And uh, no Thimbo. Oh, well, I wonder where he could be. Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello Fimbo. Fimbo. Oh, Fimbo. Oh, you're all here. Hooray! <laughs> um, well, what should we do now? Oh, Fimbo? Yes, Flory? Why did you invite us here? Oh, what do you mean, Flory? Oh, well, usually you invite someone somewhere for a special reason. Oh. Hmm. Rocket? Why did we invite everyone here? Oh, I don't know, Fimbo. Why did we invite everyone here? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a reason. <laughs> oh, Fimbo! <laughs> well, why don't we have a story? I think I've got an extra special one here. That would be a good reason to be here, wouldn't it? Oh, oh yes! Oh, yes! When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a thimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are.
we are. Dolly, Dolly! Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Oh, yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called Loopy the Clown. Loopy was a little clown who lived in the circus. His mum was a clown and his dad was a clown. In fact, all his brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles and grandparents were clowns. But Loopy was different from the rest of his family. No matter how hard Loopy tried, he couldn't make people laugh. He fell over. He told silly jokes. He juggled balls. He even squirted water all over himself. But nobody in the crowd even smiled. I don't want to be a clown anymore, said Loopy. I want to be an acrobat instead. But Loopy had never tried being on a trapeze or the high wire. The ringmaster of the circus was not very keen on the idea. Please let me try, begged Loopy. Very well, said the ringmaster, but I'll put a big trampoline underneath you, just to be safe. That evening, Loopy climbed the ladder to the top of the circus tent. Loopy began to walk across the high wire. Oh, it was very difficult. He wibbled and he wobbled. He shook and he shuffled. Suddenly, Loopy slipped and oh, he fell off the high wire and bounced onto the big trampoline underneath. Before he knew it, Loopy was somersaulting in the air, his arms and legs flying everywhere. The crowd laughed until the tears ran down their faces. They clapped and cheered, and everyone said it was the funniest show they had ever seen. So now Loopy still wobbles along the high wire and even swings on the flying trapeze. But he always ends by falling off onto that big trampoline because he loves to hear the crowd roar with laughter. And the ringmaster says that Loopy is a funnier clown than all the rest of his family put together. That was a good story, Rolly. <laughs> Thank you. Well, maybe you'd like to come again. <laughs> Especially now you've all had... An invitation! <laughs> <laughs> we had an invitation from Thimble, our friend. Yes, he did. Put it in an envelope ready to send. We all looked inside it and what did we see? A special invitation from Rocket and me! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, my little chickadee, the thimbles had a busy day today. Who found the envelope first? <laughs> That's right, it was Fimbo. Fimbo found the envelope, and what did he and Rocket do with it? <laughs> yes, sweetheart, they made it into an invitation. And they invited everyone to the Purple Meadow. And what happened when we all got there? <laughs> yes, that's right. Fimble and Rocket didn't know what to do next. But fortunately, that clever Rowley knew what to do. And he read us all a special story. Why don't you make an invitation for someone? Come and find us next time. Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Thank you.